I can't eat the same no more, man. When I was thin, I used to go over to my mom's house, eat like 10 plates of food. She'd be bragging because she thought I was going to the NFL. She'd be like, y'all, look at my baby over there eating 10 plates of food. That's a growing boy, y'all. Now she can see me eating a small piece of cracker. She's like, look at this hungry, hungry hippo over here. <laughs> eating all the crackers. I said, can you at least lower your voice, Mom? We're in church right now. <laughs> this cracker is for communion, Mom. This cracker represents the body of Jesus Christ, Mom. She said, you look like you ate the whole damn body. You look like you ate Jesus and all 12 of his disciples. <laughs> another, <laughs> another cool thing to be on my side, you know, like, because I will always have a job working as a security guard, right? Like, I'm actually a security guard on that TV show, Store Turners. You guys watch Store Turners? A round of applause. All right, a few people, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my job on the show is to break up all the fights, but the only problem is I don't know how to fight. I just needed a job, right? <laughs> and people always say stuff like, oh, if you can't fight, why do you work in security? Number one, it's a recession. Get the hell out of my business. Number two, if you can't fight, you gotta improvise. Like, I was raised mostly by my mom and my sister. So I can't fight, but I can argue with the best of them, y'all. There's only one problem, like, the more I start arguing, the more I start sounding like a black woman who just got her food stamps cut off. <laughs> so it's really not intimidating, you know what I mean? And before I get out of here, guys, I just want to say, you know, a lot of people like to leave on a funny joke. I like to leave on an inspirational story. I just want to say whatever you guys want to do in life, never give up. Be true to yourself. Seriously, never give up. Be true to yourself. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I almost thought about giving up comedy about a year ago. But I got a call last week that changed my life. This lady called me. She said, Camro, I work for one of the biggest agencies in Hollywood, and we want to represent you. And I was like, you guys want to represent me? For real? She said, hell no, this is your mama. <laughs> I'm Cameron, thank you guys so much. Thank you.